It's Brainwash with Dr. Tom and Drum Rolls with Tracy Thornton, The Renegades, Pan in A Minor. Okay, awesome. It was over when I heard this. This is, um, <laughs> I got my first steel drum when I was 20 years old, when mm-hmm. I was still in a band called Soul Society. I was still a rock drummer. Mm-hmm. Didn't know anything about it. Couldn't read music. Never played piano. Never played any kind of melodic instrument. Didn't know what to do. I think I learned how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb on the thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and never thought I'd ever pursue it. But I started getting these CDs, you know, they try to learn the music and see if I could hear it. Mm-hmm. And Pan in A Minor was the first Trinidadian steel pan tune that I heard from Panorama, which is the biggest steel pan competition in the world, mm-hmm. where each band has 120 members. Wow. 130 dB acoustically. Wow. And the songs... Um, they take a, like a three minute calypso and what the um, arranger has to do with these bands is turn it into a 10 minute piece of calypso symphony orchestrated music mm-hmm. and you have to go through a certain amount of key changes minors and majors and uh, my life was over when I heard that it was <laughs> the most incredible music 120 members playing steel drums and some of the most complicated music that you could ever think of on a calypso ride mm-hmm. And uh, I, when I heard that, I was like, I have, that is what I have to do. That is, I have to go to Trinidad. I have to get on the level. I have to play in a band like that and be a part of it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, five years later, I was doing it. Four years later. But, Good deal. Um, that's, um, that was a major life turning point. Um, and Khalid saw it too. I would, I would play djembe with him in concerts and we would have the ecu steel band open up for us sometimes mm-hmm. and he would see me on the first row with my mouth just drooling <laughs> and um you know it was just and he knew and he encouraged me but um yeah that is the path i'm on now is because of that mm-hmm. and that was a good 11 12 years ago mm-hmm. yeah well so what exactly was it that the, the steel pan was like so cool as opposed to the, well the... it is it's hard to explain for one the energy mm-hmm. um i was a heavy metal drummer this music had that 125 130 tempo the energy i mean you're going to hear it um when you play it's it's almost like happy heavy metal you know it's, <laughs> it's the real heavy metal um it's like the positive and it just kind of took you away from here. It's like, even when I went to Trinidad for the first time, it's like I've been here before. It's like I would literally feel like this was a home that I've never been to. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's hard to explain. And the steel drum instrument itself is, um, this happens to people I teach all the time. If they just want to get, as soon as you start playing it, you can't put it down. I guess it's the rhythm of it, mm-hmm. the tonality of it. I learned I could play without having to learn how to go through a traditional learning how to read music. I still can't read music. Mm-hmm. It's all done by ear and learned by rote. And there's still something ethnic, indigenous about it. It's mm-hmm. not. It's still an acoustic instrument, but mm-hmm. it doesn't sound. There's just some magical quality. I mean, I mean, just this is just one instrument. <laughs> It's made from a 55 gallon oil barrel. It's yeah. what we think of as a trash can. It's a perfect <laughs> example of one man's trash is another man's treasure. And it's, it's just totally the most amazing instrument on the planet. And then when you get 120 people together, wow. I mean, you at the drum circle, mm-hmm. playing gym bass is fun, but when you're with 20, 25, 30 people, 50 people, mm-hmm. it takes you to another level. Mm-hmm. Imagine playing a complicated piece of music orchestrated music with 125 120 wow. people mm-hmm. with this instrument you're playing as loud as you can you can't even hear it because everyone else is around you and then with all the different parts going on mm-hmm. it's just just nuts man just mm-hmm. everyone has to experience being inside a steel band in trinidad 